In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to read in the contents of a file and display those contents to the terminal. So I've actually already got a file here called file.txt, and it's got four basic lines of content here. To actually access a file in C, we need to refer to it with a file handle. And to get a file handle to the file, we're going to have to open the file. So let's do those things first. So I'm going to make my file handle variable here. I'm going to say file star fh, and that's going to be my file handle variable. Then I'll say fh is equal to fopen file.txt and then r. So fopen is going to return the actual file handle itself. And the first argument here is the name of the file to open. And the second argument here is the mode with which we're opening the file. And r means read mode. It means we're going to be able to read from the file. There are other modes for writing and appending and things like that. So if fopen can't open the file, maybe because the file name here is wrong, it's actually going to return null. So one of the first things we're going to do is actually make sure that fh is not null. Because if it is null, there's been some kind of problem in opening the file. And we don't want to try to access a file we haven't opened correctly. We're going to have a bad time if we try to do that. So we're going to say here, if fh doesn't equal null, this is where we're going to do our work with the file. If it does equal null, we'll print out an error message. We'll say else printf error opening file. So if this was incorrect, maybe I say file2 here instead of file, we should get this error message. And we could compile and test it just to see. So we compile it, we run it, and we get error opening file. If I had the right file name here though, and then I compile it and run it, we're okay. So next, we're gonna read each character in this file one at a time and display that character to the terminal. So to store each character, I'm gonna make a character variable here, car C. Then I'm gonna have a while loop that's gonna look a little bit funny. I'm gonna say here while C is equal to F gets C FH. Then I'm going to say does not equal EOF. So this is a bit odd if you've never seen anything like this before, because we have an assignment statement inside this while loop condition here. So what's going on here is that F gets C takes in a file handle as an argument, and it's going to return each character in this file in sequence each time it's called. So the first time it's called, it's going to return capital C, then O, then N, then T. So each time it's called, it returns the next character in the file until it reaches the end of the file. At that point, it's going to return end of file, which is represented with this special constant here, EOF. So what we're doing is each time this while loop runs, we're taking the next character in the file and we're storing it into C. Now the way assignment statement works in C is kind of interesting. So this assignment statement here actually has a value and the value of this assignment statement is actually what gets assigned to C. So in other words, each character we read in here is going to become the value of this complete expression here. So the first time it runs, we're going to be comparing to see if C is equal to end of file, and then if O is equal to end of file, and so on. Now, eventually, we're going to have that we actually do get end of file back. At that point, it's going to be the case that end of file is equal to end of file, and that's when the while loop is going to stop. But so long as loop is running, we're going to take that character, and we're going to display it on the terminal with put car. So we'll say here, put car C to display that character in the terminal. Then the last thing we're going to do is close our access to the file. So when we're done with the file, we're going to say F close FH here to close the file handle, to close our access to the file. So we'll do a recompilation here, then we'll run it and we get the file contents there. And so we've created a program in C that can read in the contents of a file and display those contents to the terminal. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.